The film Next Goal Wins is available only in theaters this Friday, November 17th. Um, see the commercials for it all over the NFL games. My kids can't wait to see it, and I can't wait to take them, uh, especially since I'm a huge fan of our next guest who is starring in this film, Michael Fassbender, here on The Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you, sir. Great to see you. Yeah, you bet. So um, let's talk about this this film. What attracted you to uh, take on this this role in this film, Michael? Um, firstly, Taika, a, a big fan of Taika Waititi, um, a director and filmmaker. And then the story itself. I watched the documentary and I was just, uh, you know, um, so enchanted by the the story. And do you have a history of your own to uh, that you've played the sport? At all, Michael? I'm ter- I'm terrible at okay. soccer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but you know, I tried, <laughs> okay. which is what counts, right? And uh, I I am a Liverpool fan. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so I, I I watch the odd game, but I wouldn't say that I'm you know I don't religiously watch watch every week. So you're saying uh, Salah doesn't have to look over his shoulder for you to take his spot, is what you're saying, Michael? Definitely not. Okay. Definitely not. Uh, he's safe. Um, I like motorsport, I guess, if there was any sport that I was really, you know, quite fanatic. F1? About. Is that yours? Is that F1, your? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Very good. Um, and so, um, I, and it just looks like so much fun, this film, Michael. Um, and it was it fun for you to uh, film it? It was. I mean, I think, you know, a- approaching a-, a film like this and certainly, you know, working with Taika uh, and the way that he works, it, it, that's what it's all about, you know, trying to um, really tap into this sort of, you know, the human story and to make it, you know, funny as well. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we we had a lot of fun shooting it and and just the, the sort of way that Taika works is in a very sort of collaborative, fun atmosphere. Uh, and, and the story itself, you know, is it's 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 you know, it's quite sort of. It's quite a, a a specific kind of story, and it's one of those stories that you wouldn't believe it, you know, if it wasn't real. You know, the the fact that you had this team, American Samoa, um, trying to 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 make their way in the in world football. It's a it's a it's a very beautiful story. Any specific football manager you channeled in uh, this role, Michael, at all? Um. It's interesting you say that because I did watch a lot of. I, I tried to watch like managers losing control on the soft <laughs> line. <laughs> so you know, I watched right. like Mourinho mm-hmm. uh, and just you know managers in in general losing it on the sideline. I mean, I'm, I'm a massive Jurgen Klopp fan. Yes. So there was moments where Jurgen gets excited, which was good. You know, when he breaks his glasses, when he runs over and jumps on the players. Um, so yeah, it's a sort of amalgamation of, of a lot of different managers in there. The Ted Lasso, is there a little Lasso in there too, Michael? Any Ted Lasso you got in there? There's a bit of, there, there's a bit of Lasso in there. <laughs> I do, do enjoy that, uh, that, I mean, uh, I, 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 I hope that Thomas is as endearing as Ted, uh, d- different kind of character, but of course, endearing all the same next goal wins. Michael Fassbender here on the Rich Eisen show. I'm, uh, I'm thrilled to have you here again. I am a huge fan of your work over the years. Um, and, uh, frequently uh, we haven't done this in a while due to the strike, but having you on now, and we can talk about your, your vast filmography. We have a segment called celebrity true or false where there are certain stories that we have heard about your career or behind the scenes that we'd love for you to um uh confirm or deny for us if you don't mind michael and there's there there is some uh production value to it if if you don't mind we can we can hit it for michael please celebrity true or false you can't handle the truth there you go that's the that's that's the production value for you michael just to start it (laughs) Um, first one, true or false, Michael Fassbender, true or false, you directed yourself in high school in a version of Reservoir Dogs. True or false? True. Okay. How does this come about? What happened? Uh, I started acting at, at 17. Um, it was uh, uh, Donny Courtney, um, who's since passed away, so rest in peace to Donny, uh, introduced me to acting at 17. I joined his company brick Roo. and then after a year i thought i'd just get my friends together and 
put on a play of Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, th whoa, there it is. There it is. Is that you? Is Mr. Pink on the right side of the? the, the is that is that it, Michael? Do we find it? That, that's right. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So just you know, did it uh, totally? Didn't know what I was doing, and was the biggest and best learning experience I ever had. How did we, how did we uh, reenact, I guess, the Michael Madsen uh, hmm. stuck in the middle with you scene on a high school stage? Uh, Mike, how did that we do tricky. that one? <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, I, I believe we had a, a little bit like a lamb chop <laughs> for the year. And um, the guy that played Mr. Blonde, or yes. Shay, his cousin was a makeup artist, so she came down and helped us. You know, really kind of, that's... Wow. The, yeah, the whole sort of, you know, the whoever we knew within the town came and helped us. And so that little lamb chop got thrown into the, <laughs> the audience. Um, and we just kind of positioned uh, the character away from the audience. So there was a lot of like, you know, cutting. Um, okay. You know, that side of the head, you know, <laughs> faced away from the audience. And then the, 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 the little bit of lamb chop got thrown in into the audience. Very impressive. Oh, wow. That, yeah, must, yeah. that must have been quite the uh, quite the moment. Uh, what would the 17 year old have thought that you would actually be in a Quentin Tarantino film one day, Michael? Yeah, that was a moment for sure. And um, I remember I told uh, Quentin when I was auditioning for him, I say, oh, you know, I did a, a, a play version of Reservoir Dogs when I was 18. And uh, I was like, but we, you know, we gave the money to charity. And he was like, that's good. I don't want people making money out of my shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early to say that, but uh, um, yeah, it was a uh, it was one of those moments for sure when I was on the set of Inglorious Bastards where I, I pinched myself many times. It I was, bet, yeah, it was a real moment. I bet, and that's the second one we have here: Michael Fassbender, celebrity, true or false? True or false? The tavern scene in Inglorious Bastards took two and a half weeks to film. True or false? I can't remember how long it took to film, actually. I know that we definitely rehearsed it. So the two and a half weeks would definitely, maybe two two weeks rehearsal, half a week to shoot. So, oh my. True. Yeah. I mean, watching that scene back, we were just talking about it actually before you came on. It made us nervous just to discuss it, to be straight up. We just got, we got nervous just to talk about it. Yeah. It was, you know, I remember that the actor that plays the, um, the um, soldier that rumbles me. August Steele, you know, mm -hmm. the guy that comes out with the 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 boot full of beer. Yes. Um, he was so good from day one. It was one of those moments where I was like, oh, my God, I better go home and make sure I, I'm coming, you know, ready to go to work tomorrow. He was so impressive. Um, and that whole sort of cast. But just I remember August specifically from day one. I was like, wow, I better, you know, bring my A game here because this guy, he was on fire from the beginning. What was it? What was it like to be directed by Tarantino? You got a good Tarantino story for me, Michael? You know, I think uh, I like to take naps during the day. And, uh, you know, um, Quentin, I don't think, likes people to take naps. on <laughs> So anybody that was taking a nap would get photographed taking a nap. With the <laughs> <laughs> Still don't. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Oh, Are you serious? There's a <laughs> photograph of such a thing that's out there. Right yeah, yeah. Now. There, there, there was a, the the wall of shame. So everybody was on that wall of shame. With uh, I think the dildo's name was Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, big purple dildo. Wow, <laughs> sounds like a Buffalo Bills end zone right there. Michael Fassbender <laughs> here on the uh, Celebrity True or False. Right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, <laughs> next up for you, uh, true or false? You went on a you went on a diet of berries, nuts, and sardines for your role in Hunger, and lost thirty three pounds in the process. True or false? Yeah, I don't know in pounds because uh, I, I did it in kilos. Okay, <laughs> I'm, an I annoying answer. I didn't mean, I didn't mean for you to do metric here. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, totally. Uh, so, yeah, I got down to 58 kilos. Uh, oh so I don't know what that is in, in pounds, but it was I because I, I, I was on a calorie count. So the <clears throat> doctor, you know, and nutritionists, they were like, OK, do a thousand calories a day. Um, I had 10 weeks to, to lose the weight. And so I did a thousand calories a day. And then after like week four, I just kind of flatlined at around 64 kilos and I was like, oh, I'm not losing any weight beyond that. So then I, I dropped it to 600 calories a day. 
And with the tin of sardines, I could tell how much was in it, you know, by <sighs> calorie count. So that was my meal. That was like I tried to uh, to to wait till 7 p.m. to have the sardines. Sometimes I would crack and eat it at 6.30. <laughs> And, and and that was a real sacred moment. I was on my hands and knees, just sort of like eating the, the <laughs> all the sauce out of the sardines tin. And then the, the nuts and berries would kind of, you know, tide me through the day. But you have to be careful with nuts. Nuts was probably a bad idea because they're so Moorish. You know what I mean? You just once you start eating them, you can't stop. And they're high in uh, calorie uh, content. Wow. So I had to be careful with the nuts. But yeah, yeah but that. that it's unbelievable that you would know uh, more about nuts and sardines based on your uh, fantastic film career. Who knew? That's that you're professional. You're professional. Yeah, I got quite obsessive about it. It was it was a very interesting experience. I yes. bet. I bet. Yeah. Last one for you. True or false? Michael Fassbender. You and James McAvoy like to play a drinking game where you take a shot and then get slapped in the face. Is that true <laughs> or false? <laughs> That is true and false. Okay. Uh, true because that game did take place. False because I was never part of it. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you got for me? Uh, I, you know, I, I just never understood the game. But <laughs> if I was there, I would have maybe taken part, but I doubt it. Um, but okay. there, I think that that was a game that happened in San Diego when we were doing Comic-Con. And I had gone to bed. Oh. But I believe that 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 was a game that was played. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't understand it. Damn it! I th wanted it to be true, and I wanted you to be dressed as Magneto and him <laughs> as Professor X while you did it. Like that was the way I was envisioning it, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> That's the best way to envis envisage it. I might actually have to just get dressed up next time I see James and just do it for that <laughs> alone with the helmet and everything. <laughs> well, certainly if you're going to get slapped, you should have the helmet. Like, that would Definitely. be a protective measure for this, for this contest. Uh, so then I guess the, the other one is it's true that you have a scar on your left ankle because McAvoy once crashed a golf cart you two were driving in. Is that a true that story? Is, that is true. What that the, is true. What it's happened? actually on my shin, my left shin. Okay. What um, happened? What happened? I think we were just, you know... Um, overexcited, <laughs> very passionate. No, we were just driving the the um, golf cart back from, you know, the, the, the set to the trailers. Mm. And I think I was, I can't remember, we were trying to go around the corner as fast as possible. So like counterbalancing, I think I was hanging out one end as he was oh, trying to ride, I was balancing out to the left. And um, what happened? I, he, yeah, I think he ran into the back of Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good uh, yeah no it's not good and I, I went over the back seat he ended up on the ground that's right yeah and i flew over the back seat and into the you know they hit that plexiglass um yeah. <laughs> shield uh, and the steering wheel and then ended up back in the back seat again which was amazing <laughs> And then I just remember looking down on the ground and James was coming. He's like, you all right, mate? You know? um, so, yeah, that is, okay. that is true. Fantastic. See, uh, that's uh, these are all great stories. And uh, that's why, by the way, it's been a while since we've done Celebrity True or False. It's fantastic. We're wow. back. I've learned so much. Um, <laughs> and I can't wait to see this film. Uh, truly, my, my kids, uh, we're going to go see it this weekend. They're psyched to see it. They really are. Yeah, to see next it. goal wins. Yeah, absolutely. And then I'm going to take them to see Inglorious Bastards and tell them all about <laughs> yes. and tell them and tell them all about your naps. That's why I've got this sign right here that says "Best Dad Ever." You know, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. That's right. Yeah. So, do you hold up the number three differently now in your life because of that scene? Is that you, you know, know that that's that's one of the the you know the that thing about Quentin that you know his attention to detail. Until I read that, you know, it in the script. Um, I would have never thought about that, but my dad, he's German, would always count like that, mm -hmm. always, thumb first. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, he knows that. Like German people would always do that. They would never go, you know, one, two, three, which we would do in the rest of Europe mm -hmm. or I don't know, in America. Um, and it was that attention to detail where you're like, wow, the guy is really on another level. Um, so it when I, it was only through doing the movie, I was like, oh my God, yeah, my dad always counts like that. Mm. Thought first. Um, I can't remember what the question was. That's no, all good. No, I just <laughs> wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Hey, listen, yeah. Michael, congrats on the film. Uh, I'd love to have you here in studio next time. This has been a total delight. I am a huge fan. So thanks again. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.
right back at you. Next goal wins from here's Friday, and everyone should go see it. Uh, the family's going to go see it this weekend. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good thing we've got the dump button. Right, Mikey? I, you were on it. I, did I, you get I, it? Did you get it? Yeah, I, I mean, we hope get we it? got it. We hope did you we got get it? it. We don't know. I don't get to hear, so I really don't know. I don't know. No, we just assume. Well, I assume he hit the button. I'll check I mean, my I, email in the break. <laughs> <laughs> How know. great is that? Wow. That's great. Love it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.